do 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 hey boys and girls how are you doing by the way this is a nikon d500 sensor this is actually a good one it's worth about a little over 200 dollars yes indeed now you see what's on the front of this sensor do you see what's on the back of it yes nowhere here nor here is there iso no no there's not now you see these two flexa cables that are gold colored here and this is the signal feed which goes to the controller board and you see this other little cable right here? Yeah, that goes to a piece of cover glass which sits over top of the sensor, which has a little strip which ultrasonically vibrates the cover glass. This is what sensor cleaning is, by the way. And it's a bullcrap feature on each and every camera, whether it be Nikon, Canon, or Fuji. Yes, this is ultrasonic cleaning. That little flexi cable right there, it actually vibrates the cover glass. Eh to theoretically shake off dust. It's not actually attached to your sensor. So when you actually do sensor cleaning, you're not actually doing sensor cleaning, but effectively so, but it's completely useless regardless. So let's get to the point here, right? Everybody thinks that ISO has something to do with exposure. Why sure, that's the case. We all know that exposure is time and gain or shutter and aperture and ISO, right? Well, that would be the case if we were talking about film photography, which of course we're not talking about film photography. Here's the actual path. We have the sensor, the captured image, then ISO, let's just say ISO 200, then it goes to ADC, analog to digital conversion, then to processing in the main board, and also noise firmware is actually applied. Because actual noise has certain frequencies, and in the case of processing, we actually have signal processing which cancels out a lot of noise and then it goes on to your SD card or XQD card so say we shot at ISO if you don't know what ISO invariance is please to God look up ISO invariance so here we have ISO 200 for example right at a fixed aperture and a fixed shutter speed whatever that may be okay here we have two identical shots two identical levels ISO 200 in the case of the captured by the way captured is a word that is in the past tense. In other words, everything has already occurred. The shot is taken. ISO is applied. So let's take our shot at ISO 200, and the only thing we're changing is the ISO. We're gonna take an additional shot at ISO at the same shutter speed and aperture. Okay, now we've gone from ISO 200 to say, let's say 800 ISO, okay? So there we have 800 ISO. A Little bit of dilution going on there, right? Yeah, so now let's crank up the an identical shot at the exact same shutter speed, exact same aperture. Now let's crank up the ISO from 200. We went to 800. Now let's crank it up to, oh, I don't know, let's say 1600 ISO. Now if you squint your eyes really close, they both kind of look the same. But, oh, uh, we all know this is a little bit more diluted, right? Yeah, there we go. This is what, in digital photography, ISO actually is. ISO is not part of exposure. This is not my feeling, not my opinion, not my belief. This is a hardcore fact. ISO, repeat it, is not part of exposure in digital photography. A la the sensor here, where the magic occurs, in addition to the aperture and the shutter speed, which sits right on top of it. You see, there's, you know, no, there's, there's no ISO here. There's no ISO here either. ISO? ISO? You see this sensor? It's not like the eyeballs that you have where you go into a dark room and your iris opens up to let more light in. Of course, that would be kind of akin to aperture rather than ISO. You see, there's nothing that occurs on the sensor. Okay? And changing it from ISO 200 with the same aperture and shutter speed to ISO 200, ISO 800, ISO 1600. ISO invariant. So now let's roll over to our exposure triangle. We're not talking about film photography where ISO is part of exposure and we're talking about actual grain on the film, but we're not talking about that. So ISO is not part of the exposure triangle. No, indeed. Like film photography, however, we do have gain and time, i.e. aperture and shutter speed, but the exposure triangle in digital photography for number three, boys and girls, is this. Look it up. There we go. There's the magic third leg of the triangle for digital photography. This stands to signal to noise ratio. Same thing applies in a ham radio. You see, in ham radio, there's this neat knob on the radio 
for the incoming signal where you could apply gain. Not the volume knob, boys and girls. No, no, no. There's another knob called gain. Not vol volume knob. Right over here. On my Yesu and my ICOM 706 Mark II. He's a volume knob. No, no, no. We're talking about a gain knob. A gain applied to the captured, and this would be PT, past tense, captured signal. Right, you see? There's nothing on this sensor pertaining to ISO. No, there's not. ISO is applied, yeah, before it goes to analog digital conversion and then to processing on the main board, then pff, poops the image on your SD card or compact flash card. ISO is not part of exposure and digital photography. Everybody tells you it is, it's full of crap. Full of crap, period. Okay. And by the way, here's something else that really pisses me off. Okay. This is something that really pisses me off. Let's write out the Greek here. Epistemi, my handwriting sucks. Doxa. There's a lot of people that confuse this with this. This is facts. And this is opinions. Yeah, for some reason. People don't get a modern education, they think. These two are equatable, but they're not equatable. Episteme versus doxa, facts versus opinions. Yeah, yeah, yavul, yavul. There is no ISO on this sensor. Changing the ISO on your camera does nothing to your sensor. No, 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 no. Okay. ISO 200, ISO 800, ISO 1600. Yeah, yavul. Now we know ISO is not part of exposure in digital photography. Anybody who says otherwise is full of wham. P.S. Ta-da! Thank you so much for watching. Hope it made you happy because it's all about, yay, the facts. I gotta get myself some freckles. I gotta get, wait a minute, I gotta get myself a double chin. There we go, double chin. Fat boy, no hair, big ears. Facts. Goodbye.